First question is from B. Madursky, 2009. What is the best way to get a flat stomach so I don't have to suck it in all the time? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think of that commercial right away. What's the one where the, you guys remember that commercial? Where the guy the, sucks it in yeah, and the lets two it guys, out. Yeah, they're at like, the pool and like a girl uh-huh. walks by. Like, and then they relax. <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was that commercial for? Was, you guys? I think it was a beer commercial, wasn't it? Uh, no. Yeah. I feel like it was a yeah, beer it was like commercial. Bud Light or something. Yeah. All right, uh, step one, be lean. Okay, can't do anything yeah. about body fat around your belly. So obviously you got to be lean, step one. Step two, here's one nobody ever considers. Uh, avoid foods that you may have intolerances to mm. because that will make your belly distend. Uh, it'll cause bloat. And so many people, I used to have so many clients that accepted this as a part of life that they didn't realize that this is not supposed to happen, right? You're yeah. not supposed to, after a meal, you're not supposed to sit back like, you know, and I thought this was normal too because my grandfather, my dad, everybody, right? They'd eat a yeah. big ass bowl of pasta, big bunch of bread with sauce, whatever. At the end of dinner, they're both yeah. sitting back, unbutton their jeans. Yeah. Oh. You got to take like two belt loops off. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, just... And my grandfather used to do this. He'd come over and be like, he'd hit the side of his belly and be like, look how hard it is. It's all muscle. <laughs> yeah. That's not supposed to happen. You're not supposed to bloat like that. So you're probably eating something that you're intolerant to. So pay attention to the food you're eating. You should feel after you eat fine. You should not feel any bloat. And that makes a big, big difference. All right, now let's talk about exercises, right? The That's the part everybody's interested in. What exercises can I do? You can definitely train your abs and your obliques, but those muscles aren't really responsible for bringing in the midsection. In fact, when you suck in your midsection, the muscle that you're using is called the TVA, right? The transverse abdominis. This muscle is like a weight belt around your body. And simply doing what are called vacuum poses, which is similar to sucking in your stomach, except you're really bringing it in as hard as you can and squeezing for time, that'll strengthen the muscle that brings uh, everything in. And if you want to add resistance, not really many ways you could do it other than getting on all four so that gravity adds a little bit of resistance and gives you a little bit more tension when you pull it in. I want to I want to stress the, the diet thing again because something that, uh, I, and I didn't know this until I got to a place where I was really, really lean but to, to notice this, but I think there's a lot of people that eat foods that inflame them and retain water and they don't even realize it totally. because it's not bad enough to cause any like crazy symptoms where they have maybe diarrhea or they have stomach cramping or they see but that's like one of the first things you see is just like bloat like you mm-hmm. get you get a little bit of bloat or water retention going on and sometimes it's just subtle enough that you don't really notice it except for that, oh, I feel like I just can't ever see my abs or get lean enough. And so I would actually do like an elimination diet or assess some of the, because I've seen that too, where I've taken a client, figured out what the offender is and then get rid of it. And then that alone already makes their stomach flat all the time without even doing any ab work or getting any leaner. Totally. Just simply assessing what foods they could be eating that could be causing the problem. Well, it's not like a humongous factor, but I have also noticed too, just how people like hold themselves in posture when they're standing up. Uh, and I, I would always kind of talk to Courtney about this too, because she would get in that problem. Like, Oh, I just feel like so, you know, fat today or whatever, you know, and typically it was because like her posture was just like off and in her hips to, in her, um, in the way that she had this, this excessive arch, uh, you know, really didn't, uh, put her in a position where it felt like, uh, you know, her stomach was flat and, and she was presenting herself well. And, uh, once we start working on that and just like noticing that it was, you know, a lot different. And then on top of that, the bloat, it, yeah. both those things in combination really, you know, reduced that vis- visual look of like, I feel like I'm like loose and flat. I actually flat think today. that's a, a great point and even more common than you're saying. Yeah, I, strong I, anterior tilt. Yeah, right? I have an anterior pelvic tilt. That is exact. Even when I'm lean, I still kind of push my stomach out because it's it's so excessive. Mm-hmm. And working on that flattens the stomach out because you think you, you, you the hips rotate out like this. It pushes the stomach yeah, forward. Yeah, pushes the stomach forward. So even if you get lean, you always kind of have the, the stomach kind of going out like this where by you getting the hips in the, in the right position or neutral, it kind of lines up the spine and makes you look the stomach look a lot flatter so that actually is more common than i think you think and between that and maybe eating something because i imagine there's somebody who's asking this question isn't somebody who's 60 pounds overweight i mean because i think the answer is yeah yeah yeah. i think that i think you're aware this is normally people who are like man adam i feel like i'm in pretty good shape but i still have this 
kind of pooch going on right here and I can't ever seem to see my abs. And a lot of times that's either the bloat like we're talking about or what you're saying, Justin, right now is the, you know, your hips and your your pelvic tilt that's caught pushing the stomach out. Yeah, and this is like when people will fast for a day and be like, oh my God, my stomach's so flat. And it's because they didn't eat the food that causes uh, the bloat. The most common foods that cause bloat in people, and this isn't everybody, it's just the most common ones, right? Gluten-containing foods, mm -hmm. dairy is the other one, and then some people do this just from lots of carbohydrates. Yeah. Gluten for me really does this Alcohol big time. Too, now, yeah. uh, and now here's a funny thing: uh, beer, right? People say, yeah. "Oh, beer belly." Beer is a gluten-containing alcohol. Yep. So you've got the alcohol plus the gluten. Yeah, it's a double whammy. And if you have an intolerance to gluten. Uh, and you drink beer, you may notice you get this, you know, blow. Uh, another sign that this might be you is if you're somebody who sees such a drastic difference between uh, going to bed and then waking up in the morning. Yes. Right. So after that's all been digested and kind of gone through and stuff like that, inflammation comes down. You wake up and it's like whoa, like night and day difference. Your stomach's really flat mm -hmm. in the morning, but then after as soon as you start eating foods today, it's not like that anymore. If that's a really extreme difference, this is also another sign that this is probably what your your issue is related to diet more so than it is exercise or not quite being lean enough.